this is your first time with us, then let me extend a personal invitation. The documentary Happy Accidents, Betrayal and Greed by Netflix shines a light on the mystery of Bob Ross's life, but not in the way everyone expected. Flirt. Being flirted with me, flirted with any female staff member. The new Netflix documentary Happy Accidents, Betrayal and Greed, promised to reveal dark and shocking truths about the beloved painter and television figure Bob Ross, but did Netflix just troll its viewers? Bob believed in doing something worthwhile. Bob Ross was the creator and host of the widely popular art instructional program The Joy of Painting, which aired on PBS from 1983 to 1994 across the U.S., Canada, Europe, and Latin America. More than 20 years after his death, Ross continues to be a prominent cultural icon, with his legacy spanning across a wide array of media. Exactly what was said. Although Ross died in 1994, his image and calm way of speaking have become synonymous with wholesome memes today. Bob, I can never paint because I'm colorblind. The Bob Ross spoiler teaser for Deadpool 2 subverted this idea by contrasting its violent mercenary anti-hero with Ross's gentle mannerisms. It's like, man, did I do this? I couldn't have. There have also been animated versions of Ross featured in popular series like Family Guy and the Boondocks. Moreover, one of the biggest online games in the world, Magic. The Gathering Arena just released five new Bob Ross cards for free, an uncharacteristically wholesome but stylistically apt twist to the fantasy franchise's roster of cards. Anywhere Bob Ross appears today, it's always marked with the man's signature earnest zest for life. This is exactly why Netflix trolled Bob Ross fans in the teaser for Happy Accidents, Betrayal and Greed. While Netflix didn't overtly say that their new documentary would reveal horrible truths about Bob Ross, the music, images, and text used in the teaser trailer, and its very title, certainly implied heavy controversy. History of the universe. Here's the man who does so much magic. The editing is similar to how Netflix's true crime shows are promoted, suggesting that Bob Ross is perhaps not the wholesome hero he appears. My, my whole life went to hell in a handbasket. However, the documentary never truly justifies its title, nor the way that it was marketed to viewers. Contrary to the suggestive and foreboding editing of the teaser, Happy Accidents, Betrayal and Greed doesn't reveal anything dark about Bob Ross himself. And now, people will remember forever. Rather, it's aimed at exposing the vile actions of the Kowalski family, the current owners of Bob Ross Incorporated. According to Happy Accidents, Betrayal and Greed, after Ross became ill and died of lymphatic cancer in 1995, the Kowalskis then intimidated Ross's family with legal action in order to obtain the rights to the man's image and legacy. After the documentary's release on Netflix in August 2021, public calls to boycott Bob Ross Incorporated have followed. The Kowalskis have responded with a statement denying the allegations. Just recently I was doing a demonstration in a mall. Online, Bob Ross fans have been quick to jump on the boycott bandwagon, although the public opinion remains divided on happy accidents, betrayal and greed, and what it allegedly reveals. In any case, it's clear that the marketing was just trolling fans with the dark true crime theme in the teaser. The most reveal about Bob Ross himself is that his famous hairstyle was in fact not natural, but permed every couple months, which he refers to as re-springing his hair. However, it's also undeniable that the Netflix documentary has shed a welcome light on Bob Ross's mysterious legacy. As a cultural icon, Bob Ross left behind an image that is not just encompassing, it's also highly profitable. Really absorbed how much he was loved.